and welcome back to No Moria. Yeah, the sound of the music has changed because A, I changed it to uh, classic. It's kind of cool. It's kind of got that uh, like 8-bit gaming sound to it. Also, it's just changed because we're under attack again. <laughs> it's the fourth day of fall and we're under attack again. Uh, I've been busy. I decided to do some stuff off camera just to kind of speed this up. Uh, mainly, we've been working on our crops. Um, got a training dummy area set up. We'll work on that later in the winter when we have more spare time. Uh, I organized. We got stuff actually putting... They're putting stuff away. Let's say that. <laughs> uh, we got another yak I bought and then they're chopping more trees. And then we've been working inside mainly at uh, the bedrooms. Clearing out some more rooms, building more furniture. They had a stockpile of just nothing but like birch sticks. I mean, they kind of clogged up things for a while. But we're on, uh, we're on our way. Okay, so we're under attack, and I, I didn't know if it was really them attacking or not because of the music. I'm not, I haven't played with the classic for a while, but we are. It's only three goblins, I believe. Looks like it. One of them's got a, was it a hand mallet or something? As soon as I, oh, I gotta click this. Where'd you go? What is that? A hammer? Goblin. He doesn't have anything else, so he's gone. A copper hammer. Okay. Um, we'll just organize a couple people. We don't really need to put both. Actually, we have two warriors now. We should just have to do the one squad. We test. So let's do military. Uh, double check. Yeah, they're both up here. So we can do this area and the guard area. I'll put it right here. Yeah, someone said that it'd be cool if they had animations, and they do somewhat. Um, if someone gets knocked unconscious, I believe they fall on the ground. Um, if somebody loses a limb, it actually visually shows the limb missing. And sometimes you can tell that they're using certain things. Like, no joke, there has been cases of people using wheelbarrows, gnomes, using wheelbarrows for weapons. And they've used them so much. Same with any weapon. If you use it to kill enough things, it becomes legendary. And it gets a little slight uh, damage boost, I believe. Plus, its worth increases. And there are legendary wheelbarrows out there because they use them so much. <laughs> Just whoosh, bash them right across the head. Okay. So we got 15. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do these guys. They should be able to do it. There's only three goblins. Both of them have a weapon and a shield now. I made sure of that. Um, there's a one heavily armed person. Is the other one sleeping? I don't think they are, but they could be. Mm, yes, they are. They're asleep. Alright, well, hopefully they'll wake up soon. Because they need work to do. <laughs> so we're not going to build the little walkway for now, but we're just going to play. As soon as they pop out, then we'll go to war. Um, you guys chopping more trees? Perfect. Yeah, we're going through a lot of wood in the beginning, mainly because we're building so much. We're building tons of furniture, building storage containers, all these workshops. Uh, eventually, once we kind of slow down, we don't have to build so many uh, bedrooms um, because our population will slowly start, um, you know, building up slower, I should say. Should be popping up any minute. Those beds are so worth it, though. I don't know, There's you can make a f regular bed, but I always figured the 4 post bed would probably be the best. And it's like the exact same cost, so why not? Apparently it's going to be a night fight because he's sleeping still. Oh my goodness, okay. But yeah, the crops, I actually stopped some of these. These are no longer picking just because uh, we don't need any more cotton. Don't need more strawberries because we can pick that as well. I just wanted them in there for emergency cases. We have tons and tons of straw. Um, they finally got these planted, the grapes. I'm slowly getting this guy um, smithing some more bronze. Oh, is that our guy? No, that's not the other one. Um, smithing some bronze. I got like a bunch of everything. I have. I ran out of copper, literally. I'm waiting on getting tools so that we can do blacksmith and that. An armor and a weaponsmith. Come on, dude. Wake up already. I wish I could just like poke him and be like, hey, you're needed elsewhere. Take a nap later. Okay. Well, we're just gonna see about. 
Oh, what else? We were out of bandages. I don't remember using them. But I want to say you start out with 25 or 15. We were down to 6 bandages, so I made sure to do that. It's uh, very handy to do this. You go to your tailor and always have this set to 25 or whatever you want. Um, that way there's always constantly bandages. And put them someplace that everyone can get to them. Uh, I got mine set up right here. That's nothing but band-aids go in there. Keep it stocked. That way if anyone gets hurt in the mines, they can... Well, I usually, eventually, when I go deeper in the mines, I will set up another one. Just in case... Are you seriously sleeping? You seriously are still sleeping. Alright, well, the rooms are done. I got statues in all of them. I've been r working on the beds, uh, and then we're, we're going to work on all the dressers get the extra points. Because, I think I mentioned this before, the higher the worth the room is, the quicker they sleep. It's very nice. Let's pause real quick. Uh, i got to designate some rooms so that these can sleep. I think we're just about done. Personal quarters. Um, there. So, I love that they actually, you can have multiple beds too. So if you have miners, you can actually put our bedrooms down there too. So they don't have to climb all the way up the stairs to go back to sleep. Because they sometimes will fall asleep getting to their beds. So it looks like we only have three people left. So perfect. I think I got three bedrooms. So we'll just do you. And then I believe your Ulk is a rancher. So we better do him too. Every once in a while I need a rancher. And then the third one is right over here. Still trying to think about how I'm going to design these rooms as far as the corridors go. Like, I kind of like having one big corridor and then they jet off so that they don't have to always travel in one straight line to get to their very end. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do like this a little bit more and then just have rows and then rows and rows. I might do that. It kind of looks nicer doing it all symmetrical. So I'm going to have to put another wall there and change that up. but. Yeah, bedrooms. <laughs> it's one pain, but it's worth it. Okay, seriously, dude, just wake up already. Okay, we need more torches in these bedrooms. So let's do furniture. And, oh, he's still making torches. I think he ran out of coal, that's the reason. Waiting on this guy to make some coal. I need another blacksmith. At least one more woodcutter would be kind of nice, but that's like a secondary. We have plenty of farmers. I got builders and stuff farming as well. It's just mainly a pain because they're building and farming so much. See, he's... I don't want him working. If they're sitting around, they're less likely to uh, get tired and go to sleep. So, go back over there, please. As soon as... There they are. Sleepyhead. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now we go to build, terrain, floor, and clay. Also, don't worry, I will eventually, uh, mainly in the winter, when we have less crops and we can do more building, I will eventually start kind of planning out where we're going to put walls, and I like to put like a, a little gatehouse, just so I don't have to keep, you know, doing this. We can put in, uh, well, mainly when we get archers, we can do that too. We do like a kind of a maze, and the goblins will have to run through that maze to get to the entrance. It's basically, you put like a wall and you put a bunch of lateral like walls so they have to weave through them it takes them longer that way and then you have your archers shooting at them as they go through it that's the main thing I like to do otherwise they jump they zip in there so quickly sometimes and let's see how these two do both got their swords shields um armor is not too big of an issue and then there's two and there's the third one Okay, someone's bleeding already. I bet it's a goblin. And, oh, we're doing battle. Okay, let's pause. Let's see, uh, see if we're winning. I want to say we're winning. Okay, mainly looking for the yellow uh, pine shield. Dodges the Well, not yellow, orange. Purple. Oh no! Well, <laughs> can no longer walk. That's not good. Uh, a goblin has artery been struck. Good. Goblin's right arm is bleeding. Good. Goblin's left arm is bleeding. Arner gets up. Okay. Uh, Arner falls to the ground. Goblin's left arm is bleeding. Yep. Other than Zenwald falling to the ground and not being able to walk, 
We're doing good. Goblin kicks Zenwald and misses. <laughs> Goblin kicks Zenwald, hitting the left foot, smashing the skin, and smashing the bone. We need to get you some shoes, apparently. They like going for your feet. Okay, I'm going to call on reinforcements because I'm going to a little worried. <laughs> we need to upgrade these guys and give them proper, proper armor. Um, snake area. Uh, guard. And... Well, actually, we don't need to do that now. They're already here. No sense trying to guard. Let's go after this goblin raider and I'm going to attack it with... These guys. And then, just to speed this up, we're going to go after this guy, too. But we're going to use these guys. Bam. Destroy them. Yes, use that wheat, sir. I saw that. No joke, they'll use anything they can get their hands on to make combat. Including other fallen foes' uh, arms. Goblins love doing that. They like picking up goblin legs and beating people with them. I don't know if it's a thing, but they like doing that. <laughs> Who got the final blows in here? Okay, let's see. Fifth day of fall. Group. Dinodilidin punches the goblin, hitting the upper body, smashing the skin, and crushing the heart. Oh my goodness, we got another Chuck Norris here. Goblin has died. Um, goblin's head is bleeding. Should be like a giant spam of them right here. Already's been struck. Da da da. Where's those other two die? Oh, they died so quickly. Um, Oluk punches the goblin, hitting. Oh my goodness, those farmers! I <laughs> farmers and ranchers. Oh my goodness! And then there's Pingyro again, kicks the goblin, hitting the upper body, smashing the skin, and crushing the right lung. Dang! <laughs> wow. There we go. Okay, so now we can get back to work. <laughs> Crisis avoided. I was getting a little worried. I'd hate to lose gnomes. It's just a pain because they're so well trained. Like, especially these first ones, you don't want to lose your first gnomes. Secondary, third wave gnomes, yeah. You can afford to lose those guys. Um, usually because their skills aren't as good as those first ones. Oh, okay. Let's go here and... Butcher and butcher and butcher. Nice goblin sausage. Make some goblin sandwiches. Yeah, with the trader, I got one more... What was it? A female yak? And then I butchered a male yak, since we only need one at this point. Eventually, we can't have more than that. Right now, we just need those. I organized some more. I got all the straw here. I think I might have done that before. Um, wheelbarrow storage. So that's handy for people to use. Like I said, wheelbarrows are very handy because look at this. This guy just probably picked up a bunch of... Uh, well, let's see. Let's check. This was empty before. Yeah. He got like 25, <laughs> 25 logs he picked up and just plopped them right in there. So much simpler than just walking back and forth. Alright, so we're doing good. So we got a blacksmith. We need another blacksmith. That guy's working overtime. And we need to finish chopping these trees. Uh, chompy chop. Because we need all this farmland. I'm running out of space. Like, literally, I did the rest of this. And we can still only hold six yaks. So we're going to put, um... Because this is the farthest area, and you don't really do too much with animals... You know, you feed their trough every once in a while, and you take care of them every now and again. Pick up the milk. Um, you don't really do much, so if you put them in the back, it's fine. Plus, I like it being a little more square and not, you know, merging together. Because then it's kind of a pain sometimes. Telling which one's which. Other than that, we're doing pretty good. Okay. Um, let's speed things up. So we got storage going. I got some wool going in here. They should be, yes. Is it going in there? Good, okay. Wool going in there. We got milk going in here. So they don't always leave it sitting around. It's just a matter of if they have the time to pick it up. More cotton bandages. Perfect. You guys still need to go pick up those bodies before they start stinking. And... We need to plant all these saplings. Where are we going to put them? I want to eventually clear this whole area because it's so nice and flat. And it's kind of way in the corner. This is going to be birch. This is going to be apple. I don't know if I really need that many orange trees, but I'm thinking yes. No, I probably don't. I might clear out these, but then again, I might need this space too. Oh, it's so hard to plan sometimes. Let's... 
think I'm just gonna stick with these other ones for now. Let's do that. Um, no. Plant trees. How many do we have? 91 pine clippings. I don't think we're gonna plant all of those. <laughs> plant as many as you can right there. Oh, what's this? Dude, okay, I thought he was gonna come at me. Usually the animals try to avoid you, but that guy kind of looked, uh, he looked a little sketchy. Look at him. Honey badger. They are pretty vicious. Uh, if I had to scale them, I'd say bear is the worst. And then monitor lizard is second worst. I've seen those things take out three goblins at least, all by itself. And then honey badger would probably be the last one. And that's about it. Well, that's not including mance. Mance are way worse than all of those other ones. There we go. Everyone's working. Uh, we got some nice cheerful music going. You guys are completely stock, so now we can do some more flooring. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to redesign this. I dug this out. It's not going to be too much of an issue. I just got to redo this. Um, so we got to take out this block. And then this is the hallway, so it's going to be going right here. And that's going to be a wall, so this is going to have to be the 5x5. Five five. Okay. And then builders, replace those walls, please. Train, uh, walls, um, stone walls, and bauxite. Okay. Do that one, and then, oops, to save our miners from having to remine walls. <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't uh, mine that very well. I want you to remine that. All right, there we go. So, everyone got a room. Perfect. Do we have the torches yet? I've been waiting on that coal. I think they got it, but no. One torch. Oh, that's, that's not good. Um, why aren't you guys? Oh, that's because you're chopping all these trees. I apologize. I need to redo that order. Okay. Uh, woodcutters. Okay, you should be doing that. Workshop is number one. Why aren't you making, uh, torches? Needs coal. Well, where the heck is that black smelt? Okay, we're gonna have to get another person to smelt stuff. Let's do this. Let's do part-time warrior. Where is that under? I believe that's metal. Smelting basically smelts metal and turns uh, wood into coal. There we go. Um, and then I have to remember that he has that as a workstation. Workshop. Bump that up. Okay. And then all we have to do now is uh, designate this guy for Dewey, so that only Dewey will smelt actual metals. Uh, Dewey, where are you, Dewey? Dewey, okay. Actually, no, that's the other one. That's not the boss smelter. This one's the smelter. Dewey, okay, perfect. So yeah, he needs coal. We're gonna cancel these because I don't really need those bars. But. He can make some stuff now. Um, what do we need for those armors? That's probably going to be the next thing I really want as far as workshops go. And possibly, no, it's definitely not the last. There's so much stuff to do. <laughs> we still haven't even gotten into the cool, fancy mechanical stuff that kills things. Um, we want a weaponsmith. So we have the billows, the hearths. We need uh, a bald peen hammer. And then armor is the same thing. But we're gonna need one more anvil, okay. So let's do the bulpy hammers. That doesn't require any coal at all. No 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 no, don't use the bronze. Silly person. Okay, two bulpy hammers. And do I have enough for an anvil? I don't think so. I need eight. I don't have any copper. Alright, so miners, we're gonna have to mine out some more of this malachite. And then uh, when we get some more coal. We're gonna have to do that, so that's that's all silver, right? That is. I don't want to mine that right now. Near the end of the month, I'll probably do that. If you really want to, like, um, for instance, it's getting to that time where you should be getting new gnomes and an attack. Well, if you get attacked before you get your new gnomes, then you definitely know that um, you should be safe. Like, for instance, if I would have mined all this stuff up, like, a day before those guys attacked me, 
my worth would have been increased enough that I could have possibly gotten either another goblin or even tougher goblins there. Um, I would probably get another gnome as well, but if I did it after the goblin attack, then I don't have to worry about the goblins being too tough and I get more gnomes, see? I might have confused you there, so... I apologize if I rambled. <laughs> Alright, so the trees are all chopped. Uh, we're going to sell those pine clippings. I don't think we well, I'm just going to let them sit there. We have so many pine trees. I just don't like venturing outside my walls. In the winter time we're going to, though. Because we're going to have no trees growing. We'll eventually start clearing this out. Like, um... My major plan is... This wall, I kind of, I'm going to leave this section. I might jut it out a little bit here. Probably right here with the cool... And then we'll have like crossbowers around this section. And we'll have like a little bit of a gatehouse. Have you guys still not picked up this hammer? Really? That's been sitting out there for ages. <laughs> uh, weapons. Melee. Stone. Warhammer. Yeah, it's all selected. Why are you not picking up that giant hammer? Oh. Because I forgot to click the worn one. My bad. <laughs> sometimes it's their fault, sometimes it's my fault. See? Someone's gonna go pick that up any second now. But yeah, that's the plan. I kinda wanna put a little jutting out. We'll have like a gatehouse. And then, um. The zigzag. That way we can have that out here and not have to disturb our farm since I've expanded that so much farther. Eventually this might be farms as well. And then we'll start organizing the orchards, clear up these remaining trees. It's going to eventually look pretty one day, don't worry. One day it'll look pretty, but right now it's just going to look like crap. <laughs> Organized crap. Okay. You're smelting? Perfect. Actually, I could get another smelter for this. Let's do that. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. Get another person smelting. Uh, we just need that. And I think it's a bills, if I'm not mistaken. Go back to the building section here. Workshop. Furnace. Furnace. Furnace? Yep, a furnace. Just needs a furnace and a billows. Okay. So let's get another billows. Right here, which is just planks. It's just used. No, not the birch. Those. There we go. And then, now that these guys are done, I forgot about this. I suspended this because I wanted them to make stuff. And they were kept sawing logs. There we go. Efficiency right there. So this, I still think I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to clear this eventually one day. And this will probably be all pastures. Because we're going to need quite a large one for the yaks. For having 12 females plus the male. So it's 13. Um, probably an emu one I might do too. Emus are pretty good because, like I said, they eat all the seeds. Whereas these guys only eat straw. So I got... Oh, I'm going to show you. I have so many. I think I should be able to show you. <laughs> um, items. Go to goods. This is such a cool thing too. If you really want to know exactly what you have. Um, you can actually put this... I don't know if I mentioned this. You can tell... I might show that real quick. We have some time. Where is it? We want plant. Uh, you can click on seeds. And look at this. We have 486 seeds. 206 strawberry seeds, 144 wheat seeds, and 136 cotton seeds. That's a lot of seeds. So I like to keep them all. Because they kind of blend in. I mean, you can almost not tell that they're there. <laughs> no, not really. Not when you look over here. But the emus, that's all they eat. So eventually I'll have so many emus that it kind of works out. Because I won't ever eventually hit a point where we don't need any more of those um, crops. We just keep growing and harvesting. Um, so let's do this. I'm pretty sure... Oh, tracked items. Here we go. So we have food and drink up here in the top corner. So if we want to get even fancier, we can go, for instance, say... Um, new. And let's do coal, since I keep running out of that. I don't want to keep that on top of that. So we name it. Uh, we can move it whichever order we want. We can remove it. I, I didn't really want to do that, but I did it anyways just to show you guys. <laughs> And then all we do is we go and click actually what we want. So we click on coal just for there. And there it is. We have 12 coal in stock. Um, let's do probably what's another one I usually do. Um, 
Hmm. I'm not quite sure what I usually do. I think that's about it for now. Oh, band-aids. That's what we want. Always want to make sure we have plenty of band-aids, and if we run out, there should be um, a reason. So, band-aids. I know they're bandages, but I'm going to call them band-aids. Let me go, what's that under? Goods, uh, cloth, and that is under right there. Bam. We have 26 band-aids. Perfect. And that's the next thing I just completely forgot about. We're going to need an infirmary, which we should probably work on right next. Basically, how the injuries work is, I mentioned this before, they get hurt, they fall down. Some injuries will heal right after combat. They're not permanent. Some are, like if they lose an arm or something, that's definitely permanent. They don't reattach anything. Um, and so what happens is, I've never really had it got that far, but... Uh, if they don't die from their injuries, they can be severely wounded and they can't even take care of themselves. And so what happens is you have to have doctors eventually. And the doctors will put them inside like um, an infirmary, I believe it's called. Let's find out. Uh, Designate area, rooms, dorm, no, not dormitory. First no quarters, dining room, hospital. And they have a little hospital ring. And you just put some beds in there and they rest and they will get fed and taken care of until they're uh, healthy enough to actually be on their own. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I should have all that stuff done. So let's get this furnace built before I forget. <laughs> uh, da -da -da, furnace, perfect. And pine billows, perfect. And let's plop that right there. Oops, no, 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 don't do that. I just realized that's not in line with the other one. Okay, workshop. Right, yeah, furnace. Double check, fine. We want it right next to them. That way if I expand these, I can put more uh, chests back there. Kind of keep things organized. And I think we're going to build... What do we want? I think armor. We don't really need the weapons. They're not going to do much until uh, the goblins start having natural armor. So armor smith would probably be best armor, sorry. So we got the anvil, ball pin hammers, everything. Let's plop that. Not right there. I want to kind of organize these. So let's get rid of these last two walls. And we'll put them uh, right next to each other. Where are my mind? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Speak of the devils. Okay, workshop. I was like, what's going on here? They should be like Johnny on the spot right there. And how are we going to put this? Um, have it like that. Put a little space. Why not? Plenty of room down here. <laughs> uh, need some more of this green stuff as well. So miner, come back here. Let's go ahead, just keep going like that, just in case. And we're gonna have to do some more strip mining. I really can't believe I found this much silver and not that much copper. Usually I find so much copper, it's ridiculous. Like, I don't even bother mining it because I have too much copper already. Oh, there we go, there's some more green stuff. Sweet. There's some more green stuff. Eventually, um, I like to use that for mechanical stuff because it doesn't really matter for some of the mechanicals. Oh my goodness, <laughs> seriously, I usually don't find this much green stuff either. I'm finding all the stuff I don't really care for, but it's it's fine. It saves me from using the good stuff later on. Nice. Yeah, there we go, we got three miners. We got our um, part-time warrior. I made him, I don't know if I mentioned this. I uh, Because we got him assigned to either mine or chop trees every once in a while, I have an extra tool made for him so that if he needs to and can, he can help with these guys and start boosting his skills. So, yeah, he's not as efficient right now, but he's gaining endurance so that when it comes to combat, he can just deal lots of hits. Let's quickly, got 20 seconds. Um, here's the armor. So, we got armor plates. You got to use two metal bars to make it, um, and then you have to use those metal plates to go with padding which is made from uh, cotton and string and the fibers. It's a lot of work to make armor. It really is. And then leather straps. 
is from just uh, leather pieces of hides. So it's a lot of work, but you got your helmets, your breastplates, your pauldrons, and then your greaves, your gauntlets, and boots. You only need one helmet and one breastplate, but you need two of each of these because you have two feet, two legs, two arms, and two hands. So it gets a little um, tedious making some of this armor. That's why I'm going straight to bronze so I don't have to make a bunch of copper ones. I'll need to have to make a bunch of bronze ones later. And I will see you guys next time. Well, probably uh, I'm going to do some more off-camera stuff, finish up those rooms, and uh, I will, yeah, see you guys next time.